federal bribery charges against Senator Bob Menendez, Democrat of New Jersey, and his wife tied to their alleged corrupt relationship with three New Jersey businessmen were announced Friday by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York. Prosecutors say Menendez and his wife Nadine agreed to and accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes in exchange for using the Senator's power and influence to enrich the three. Will Hanna, Jose Uribe, and Fred Didai, or Dide, as well as Benefit Egypt. The bribes involved cash, gold payments towards a home mortgage, compensation for a low or no-show job, a luxury vehicle, and other things of value, according to the indictment, which was first published by Politico. Damian Williams, U.S. Attorney for the Southern District of New York, said Friday that Menendez's own Senate website details actions he can engage in as a senator, such as compelling an agency to act in someone's favor or involving himself in criminal matters. But we allege that behind the scenes, Senator Menendez was doing these things for certain people, the people who were bribing him and his wife, Williams said during a press conference. Menendez faces three counts, including conspiracy, com conspiracy to commit treason, extortion under color of official right, a charge for public officials to take bribes in return for official acts. The investigation is very much ongoing, Williams said Friday. In a statement, Menendez said he has been falsely accused before and is confident the matter will be successfully resolved once all the facts come to light. The excess of these prosecutors is apparent. They have misrepresented the normal work of a congressional office. On top of that, no, con not content with making false claims against me. They have attacked my wife for the longstanding friendship she had had before she and I even met, he said. He added that forces behind the scenes are attempting to silence my voice and dig my political grave. Those forces simply cannot accept that a first-generation Latino Amer oh my God, American from humble beginnings became a senator, Menendez, but positive. Prosecutors say the senator provided sensitive U.S. government information to secretly aid Egypt while also pressuring a U.S. Department of Agricultural official to protect the business monopoly Egypt granted to Hana. A longtime friend of Nadine Menendez, the monopoly was used to fund the bribes being paid to Menendez through his wife, the indictment says. In one such instance detailed in the indictment, Menendez and his wife met with Hannah in May 2018, the same day Menendez requested a non-public non information from the State Department about people serving in the U.S. Embassy in Cairo. The information was not classified but deeply but deemed highly sensitive due to security concerns without informing his staff or the State Department. Menendez texted that information to Nadine. Who was with then? Who was then his girlfriend? Uh, she forwarded the messages to, ha, to, to Hana, who was who then forwarded it to an Egypt an Egyptian government official, according to the indictment. The New York, the New Jersey senator also sought to disrupt a criminal investigation by the state's attorney general's office into Uribe, the second businessman, his associates, according to the indictment. In exchange, Hana and Uribe helped buy a new Mercedes-Benz convertible from Menendez's wife. The indictment says. And Menendez recommended that the president nominate an individual as New Jersey Attorney General under the belief that the person could be influenced by Menendez regarding the criminal prosecution of Dibes, the third businessman prosecutor's claim. The Menendez received cash, furniture, and gold bars in return, according to the indictment. As we allege in the indictment, the senator agreed to do these things and use his power in this way between because Hannah was using bribes, because Urabe was paying bribes, and because Dibes was paying bribes, Williams said. When federal, agree, when federal agents searched Menendez's New Jersey home in June 2022, they found more than 480000 in cash, much of it stuffed in envelopes or hidden in clothing closets in a safe. The agents also allegedly found more than $100,000 worth of gold bars. In March 2022, Menendez amended a federal disclosure report to indicate an asset of gold bars between 100001 and 250000 250,000, uh, 250, yeah, which he said belonged to his wife, according to New York Times. Menendez did not, however, disclose the receipt of any payments toward the Menendez, toward the Mercedes Benz convertible, or the receipt of any cash or gold bars by him or his wife in the years relevant to this indictment, according to the charging document. Oh, man, this is. I'm going to just end this here. Uh, let me get to the part where they mentioned. They, okay, here it is. The New Jersey senator was also indicted on federal corruption charges in 2015, but they were dropped in 2018 when a jury could not reach a verdict. Eight years. The first time these people thought there was something wrong with this guy was 2015. 
and he was able to really by the skid of his teeth get out of being charged for his very apparent corruption and, and we've, we've talked before about how Citizens United which ruled that money was free speech was one of the predecessors of what allowed these politicians to get away with getting bribed for their positions of power but in actuality most of them are at least smart enough to keep it strictly to, okay, you give me some money and then I'll vote to advance your interest. NRA gives a lot of Republicans money, so they vote against any gun control legislation. Um, and there are exceptions to that rule, but for the most part, that's how it goes. But when you're talking about a guy who is so stupid that he has three businessmen who each one, these, these investigators have been able to find him having some specific beneficial thing they've either done for him or his wife in exchange for services that he gives them as a senator you're, you're like he he is the king of corruption because at least the other ones are smart enough to keep it mostly to contributions and votes that are kind of like s such commonplace that you couldn't specifically target that one person he he's made himself an open person to just go after for how brazenly corrupt he is hey you want me to vote this way on or excuse me tell you something about the state department in care uh in caro okay buy my wife a mercedes benz and his response to this is so so just like if i were accused of corruption i would just say the charges are not true um we'll let this play out in court that would be my, my full statement. Even if they came out and said, hey, we have this evidence here. If I if I truly believe I'm innocent, even though they have all this evidence, I'm going to say the charges are incorrect. We'll let this play out in court. That, that should be the response that is given uh, on his part. But instead, you have the excesses of these prosecutors is apparent. They have misrepresented the normal work of a congressional office. On top of that, not content with making false claims against me, they have attacked my wife for the long-standing friendship she had before she and I even met. What is false about their claims that they have proof of? What, 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 what in there? And when he says misrepresent the normal work of a congressional office, by normal work, do you mean taking bribes and playing this game of scratch my back, I scratch your back, hey, you buy my wife a car? I, I um I, I guess your friend to the the prosecutor in New Jersey to not investigate you for some other shady deal that you were in. Oh, um, you want me to vote this way? Okay, thanks for the hundred thousand in gold bars. So his statement is really is really pathetic because it doesn't address or specify anything that uh, that is purportedly false about what's being investigated here because there there is no falsehood. They have him. That's right. And when he's out of ammo, so to speak, in terms of his just lashing out, they're going after me with false claims and misrepresentations. Blah, blah, blah. They, after that, he goes to, these forces are attempting to silence my voice and dig my political grave. Okay, why, why do they have such animosity towards you? What, what are you doing that is so dynamic and unique? As Like, he, he's a run-of-the-mill Democrat. He's a, another corporate Democrat that pretty much votes the exact same way as the majority of the rest of his party. Now, if they were going after someone like Sanders, who had this whole rev rev revolution and tilted the party left, I could say they might actually be trying to silence his voice. Um, hell, even if they were going after Manchin, who's known for pissing off the rest of his party with his uh, right-wing leaning votes, I could say, yeah, he they, there's a real agenda behind getting rid of the most conservative Democrat, but you're, you're just... You're a guy who's just run of the mill. You have no specific votes. You've let on no issues. Your your whole purpose is just to serve your donors. And when that when we get past that, we have those forces simply cannot accept that a first generation Latino American from humble beginnings became a senator. You know, it's so sad that he has to throw his race into something that really is irrelevant to that um, fact. I mean, last I checked. Ted Cruz is Latino. I'd say he came from humble beginnings. Marco Rubio is Latino. I'd say he came from humble beginnings. And neither of those two are being investigated for corruption charges, even though they should. And it wouldn't have anything to do with their uh, ethnicity. I'd, I'd actually support almost every senator being investigated for corruption charges. Uh, but m the rest of them are just much smarter than Menendez is, which is why they're not caught over stuff like this. But 
he uses his race or his ethnicity as a, a way of deflecting from the fact that this this is about his blatant corruption and and it's sad because it's like now i'm looking at the um the response to this stuff you have a few democrats calling for him to resign he got off the senate foreign relations committee as the chairman but I think we're going to end up having a do-over. Like, I've seen nothing that convinces me that this is going to be any better. than Because I had to brush myself up on the 2015 indictment. But it was for similar charges, that he was doing things in exchange for gifts for some, from some, for some donor. Somebody gave him some money. Um, and the charges were dropped. And so for four more years, he kept doing, or excuse me, five more years. It was dropped in 2018, 2023 now. He kept doing the same old corrupt stuff. And now it looks like he might finally get some more charges but i i just can't see him get going to jail these people are you know as much as he's whining and crying about oh they they're trying to silence my voice they like his voice he does what they want when you when you have powerful friends that give you money to be a, a corrupt non-constituent representing uh politician you you can crawl your way out of this type of stuff so who's to say that those three businessmen aren't hiring some aren't using some back channels to hire him some top lawyers to beat this case so look, I agree that with a lot of people that Menendez should resign. He probably will not. He's you know saying that he's not going anywhere or whatever. Um, I hope that he gets charged. I hope that he goes to jail, and I hope that this serves the warning to these politicians that there that there's only a certain amount of corruption you can participate in. You can get money from donors and scratch their backs when you, with your votes. Um, but not so brazen as like, oh, these three one, uh, donors, they're going to buy my wife a car and give us 100000 and 400000 You know, it, it's it's sad that, that like, like I was thinking about Jesse Jackson Jr., who had a similar thing where he went and bought some Michael Jackson memorabilia after with uh, campaign contributions. And it's like, you got, it's really telling that in an era seeping with corruption on both sides, from both parties... These guys are so stupid as to be caught and get in trouble over it. Like, they it, they get so used to just scratch my back with, you know, I'll scratch your back. They just, they take it to further and further levels until it overheats and they get charged with things. But I, I just can't see a scenario where this turns to be uh, out to be different than the 2015 indictment. I hope it is. I hope we finally see this crook, this, this, this completely depraved individual from new jersey um get thrown out but i i don't think so i think it's going to be a few days few weeks of people talking about him um and of course th th these charges will be brought up next year because uh, he's running for apparently running for re-election next year um and he'll you know they'll they'll the republicans will most certainly use this to get rid of but honestly if a Republican won that seat, I wouldn't be mad. I like I I'd, I'd rather just have the voters reject him than him not step aside so Democrats can, you know, appoint somebody to that position because of his own ego. I'd I'd rather just have the whole seat be taken because it's like this is not about trying to do what's best for his constituents, anything like that. He cares about the people that give him loads of money, him and his wife, and that's pretty much it. And keep making sure he has his hold on power. So as long as those two things are accommodated, he's going to stick around. And I, I hope they find a way to get rid of him. They're trying to silence my voice. You have, you have no voice except for your donors.